Hey friends, Tux here. I have something today here for you that is gonna make your life so much less stressful. Like, for me, there is really no bigger stress than to be on the road and for some odd reason, have a car not start, okay? Or worse yet, be at home, but you're trying to get ready for work and time is of the essence. You're, you're down to the minutes, you're hopping in the car, you're turning that key or pushing that button and the car won't start and your heart just stops because you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get to work, you know? And to find cables or find someone to jump you or call a tow truck or whatever, takes time, takes expense. It's such a drag and you're gonna lose money because you're not getting to work anyway. So it's really important to be prepared. Much like anything else in life, being prepared is the key, okay, to actually reducing stress and being able to make everything in your life function is so much better. And that's where this comes into play. This is a Ampeak multi-function jump starter, okay? And before we go further, I'm gonna mention there's gonna be a link for this bad boy right below. So be sure and click the link in the description for yours at the very best price, okay? And you might be saying, oh, well, does it work on other devices? Oh, yes, it does, okay? This particular device is powerful enough. It will work on cars, motorcycles, speedboats, and when it comes to power guys, even trucks, okay? So cars, motorcycles, speedboats, trucks, it's got you covered, you know? I'm sure you can throw scooters in there too. I drive scooters in the island quite a bit, you know? So it's really important to have this, and we'll just, it'll really help you a lot. And this has other features, it sure does. Besides this being a jump starter, guys, it's a power bank. You can use the power for this for other things as well. Uh, such as f like car electronics, vacuums, all sorts of motion detectors. Maybe you want to use it for like a motion cam or something. So many uses. And a built-in LED flashlight with SOS, which is really helpful if you're stranded on the road. Like that can really come in handy and make you feel a lot better. Now there's a few little warnings about this device. I may go through just real quick. I'm not gonna read all these, but this is meant to be used for a standard, like for starting 12 volt vehicles, okay? It's prohibited for other things like airships, you know, I like aircrafts and ships and things of that nature. So be sure and check with the manufacturer and your device to see if it does fit the needs of what you're looking for, okay? Um, do not use this as a car battery or a charger, okay? This is meant to be a jump start to get you rolling to help your alternator charge your battery, okay? Um, please make sure the product power is 50% or more, okay? So you wanna use this when it's fully charged. Um, that's much like any jump starter, okay? And make sure you're connecting to the red to the red, the black to the black, you know, that's a positive, positive, uh, negative, negative. Um, we'll explain more about that in a bit, but just make sure you have it hooked up properly, okay? Um, and then um, just make sure you, you know, don't jump start the vehicle consistently. Um, it could be over here damage. So make sure that you let it cool down a little bit between jumps. And you really, if you, this is the type of thing where this will get you to work. This will get you to the, the repair shop. This will help you get started. It'll save you, you know, a tow truck bill here in Key West is somewhere around $150, you know, and that's the cheap end of it, you know. So this will really save you a lot. And besides the actual aggravation of paying someone the time time involved of getting a tow, tow truck to actually come and pick up your car um, is, is long, guys, it's long. And this is like instant gratification to get you on the road and get you where you need to be. So very, very good stuff, guys. Um, basically, it says before first use, uh, make sure you charge it for three hours or more, okay? So lots of good stuff there. On the back here does also mention the first steps for plugging it in, second steps, um, hooking up the terminals, red to positive, you know, black to negative, you know, start the vehicle, and then make sure you unhook it up as well, okay? Um, before I go further and open this, which I, I really wanna open this, but real quick, a few real quick product specifications. This is, of course, model JS1, okay? The start circuit is 750 amps, peak current is 1500. The battery capacity is huge, guys. This is 16,800 milliamps, so very, very good stuff. The output is five volts, three amps, okay? And I'm just gonna skip down here. Uh, the lifetime is a thousand, thousand jumps, essentially. And operating temperature, this is kind of important. Basically, it's from negative four, okay? That's like below freezing, guys, to 140, okay? and that's 20 Celsius to 60 Celsius. So that is the range. I mean, that's more than enough to cover you from you know any time of year here in Florida. Um, I would say the only time you might have problems with negative floor, maybe if you're in like the Arctic or something crazy, you know, and just check with the link for the product specifications. But this has really got you covered for a wide variety of temperature situations, okay? And there we got the dimensions there. So let's go ahead and let's open this up.
Okay, so opening this up here, we're gonna pull this out. Oh my gosh, I love it. Check it out, guys. This comes in its own case. In my Corvette, I love to keep everything nice and tidy, and I love it when devices actually have their own protective case. And this is a nice, hard case here. Um, it is a rubbery case with a nice red zipper, very sporty, looking good. We got an peak on the front here, and a um, nice little loop here to carry it to. So, little carrying case. Um, very, very cool, guys, and very rugged feeling. So, this is great, love the black. Uh, the red goes right with my Corvette. Um, this is perfect. This is going in my main car for sure. Very cool stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna take the zipper here, and we'll unzip it. Absolutely loving this case, guys. Pulling this open and oh, we got some accessories. Very cool. First, we got a little manual here. We'll just check this out together. Looks like we got all the instructions. It's a color manual. That's excellent. And if you're not familiar how to jump a car, it's, it's actually a pretty easy process. Um, basically, the main thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that the negative terminal on the this right here on the clamp goes to the negative terminal on your actual device, you know, on your car battery. So um, it explains all that here in the book, I'm sure. Um, but goes through, talks about what to do, just like we talked about before, the four steps, um, just talk about some different things. And this is great, actually, introduction. It does talk about, you know, jumping a car, charging a PSP, charging a game system, that's great. Uh, charging cell phones or tablets, charging a video camera. There's been times I've been driving and all of a sudden my video camera battery is dying. So it's great this can actually charge devices. So very cool. And this isn't just like some little teeny cell phone battery. This is a big honking battery. So very good for charging high powered devices. That's excellent. Now, one thing I want to call out here in the manual, let's talk about this cable. And I didn't mention this previously, but this includes a smart cable. So besides the actual device here, the jump starter, there's actually data being shown here on the cable, which is very, very convenient when you're actually using it. So this will go through and will actually, when you hook it up, they'll show both low voltage, okay, and high voltage, okay. And hopefully the camera's capturing this pretty good. If you have any questions, let me know. But this will actually show the voltage on the cable. There'll actually be a number there to show you where you're at. On the back here, there's just a little more information. It will also include showing reverse charges, okay? Reverse polarity or short circuit. I'm like on Star Trek, for reverse the polarity. No, in cars, you do not want to reverse the polarity, okay? Uh, that's total sci-fi. Um, high temperature and excess uh, connection time, okay? So you wanna make sure you're using right. So basically, if you're seeing these dashes like this, okay, um, that means something is a little bit wrong and you wanna try and look at the manual here to make sure that you get everything just right, okay? All right, looking at the accessories, let's check this out, guys. Love the fact it's got a little uh, mesh, a little meshy inside part here to keep everything nice and tucked in, so very cool. We'll go ahead and pull this out and show you. Um, wow, this is this is really nice heavy duty. Um, very heavy duty cables, very good. Of course, we have the red clamp for your positive and the black clamp for the negative. These clamp onto your battery terminals, okay? And again, it's color coded, it's very easy. Um, make sure you follow the instructions in your car you know, owner's manual. Um, but I think you got this, guys. Positive, negative, it even shows it right there like a little negative, see? And positive right there. And that will match what you have on your battery. Now, if you follow these nice thick cables, very nice and thick, it comes to this little hub here, okay? And this is a smart hub. In fact, I'm gonna, looks like there's a little pull off part here for the screen. Um, you can pull this off. This actually goes right into the device. So this plugs in very easily to the actual device. Now, before we show you that, um, looks like we do have a few additional accessories here. We have, this is really great, guys. Like, I wouldn't expect this. This is actually a extra cigarette lighter, okay? So you can actually plug this into the device here and get an extra cigarette lighter for charging additional things. So very cool. Um, you can use this. Like, sometimes I've had cases where, like, a radar detector is using a cigarette lighter, but then you want to use a dash cam, too, or a car vacuum or something and it's great this actually has an extra cigarette lighter attachment so very cool stuff and then also included here you guys know I love new cables with new devices it gives you a nice brand new super flat super flat USB to USB-C, okay? And that's what a lot of cell phones are using right now. A lot of electronic devices use this USB-C format. So very good stuff. You can charge all sorts of things with this particular device. Now, if we flip this part here, oh my gosh, look at that. This looks slick, guys. Very, very cool looking. Let's go ahead and we'll pull this out together here. Pulling out the device. Look at that. 
Very cool that it fits right in the case, very nice. We'll put this aside for right now and let's pull this out. This feels good weight guys and oh, this is rubberized, very nice. Wow, this has a really good, it's it's a good amount of weight. I wouldn't say it's too heavy, um, but definitely feels quality, uh, which is great. And I love the fact that besides just being plastic, it has a good rubbery feel, like this is coated, um, which is really good. In the front, we have Ampeak. We do have four lights indicating the power level. It's very good. And of course, this is a 12 volt, 1500 amp peak uh, circuit starter, okay? On the side here, we feature the in and out of the USB-C, okay? DC output, okay? And then on the bottom here, nothing. The set over here, we just got some little grips. And these these are actually really useful because when you're holding on to it, I think if you're outside in the rain, these this rubbery coating to it and these little grips will help you hold on to it. So very good stuff. On the top here, we got some more. We have um, an engine start button, okay? We have a output number two and output number one. These are USB outputs and a flashlight, so very cool stuff. Now to plug this smart hub into the actual device, very simple, we're just gonna flip this little tab here. There's like a little rubbery tab to keep it nice and clean and dry. And you really can't go wrong here. You can see one of these is shaped oval and one of these is shaped with a flat side, okay? So on the inside here, you can see the corresponding shapes. So you really cannot plug it in wrong. It's made to only go in one direction. So that's great. Okay, so I got put this pulled back here and now we're gonna go ahead and just plug this in. As an example, you can see this has a little smart readout here, okay? And this just goes in just like this. It only goes in one direction. So it goes in just like that. And when you plug that in, you can see here, this is already starting to show some data here. Um, it's a little bright in this room to see, um, but this is showing, it's going around, it's trying to search for power, okay? So it's looking to see if I have these hooked up to a car or not. Now, if we hit the power button here, you'll see right now this is featuring three dots. So we know this is 75% charge. So we want to charge this a little bit more to get this to its full four dots, uh, full power, okay? But this is three, 75% of the way is effective enough to get it going. Now, if you're wanting to use the SOS light, all you have to do is hold the power button for three seconds. So we'll go ahead and just hold this for one, two, three, and there you go. You can see actually a very bright LED, very good for helping you in the dark. Like think if your car breaks down the side of the road, you'll have this bright light to actually help you. So very cool stuff. Now, if you hit this a second time, you see now it's flashing SOS. So on the side of the road, law enforcement, maybe a plane flying overhead, this can actually see the SOS signal to help protect you and to have someone come rescue. So it's a really cool, it has that built-in SOS, because a lot of people nowadays might not know how to signal SOS. So it having it built-in is a really nice feature. Okay, I'm inside my C7 Corvette right now. I just wanted to show you real quick, just to give you kind of a visual idea how like this car alone has one cigarette lighter, okay? And right now I'm using this for my dash cam. Okay, so sometimes you might actually want to run another device with a cigarette lighter, okay? So that's where this comes into play, that you can actually use this as not just a car jumper, but you can use this as a big, big battery pack and plug in another device that needs a cigarette lighter type plug without having a whole bunch of other adapters. I mean, everything you need is included right here in this kit, which is really great. And even another thought to take this a step further is if you use something else like a power inverter or something that uses cigarette lighter, you could actually plug into here getting one to two like regular 120 volt sockets from this whole thing too. If you have questions about that, please let me know. Also be sure and check out my other Ampeak video where actually I do a review or unboxing of a power inverter and I'm thinking of plugging these two things together to actually be able to you know get use this to get 120 volts for other devices so it can be really really handy um, I'm a big fan of you know being able to use multiple devices at one time and not have to you know sacrifice um, you know using devices just because I'm out of power out of plugs so that's where having extra battery backups is really good and also I mean just from the standpoint of cell phones alone being able to use cell phones on this this is like the world's biggest a cell phone charger okay I mean there's a little battery pack sure but this will actually in the case of like a hurricane or some kind of natural disaster and in Florida we have hurricanes and we lose power tonight for days and days on end having something like this to be able to charge phones and other USB devices is really huge so consider it for that consider this a backup not just for your car but for your life I mean for your digital life anything that needs a plug this can actually help you a lot and again combining this with perhaps other devices like power inverters you might be able to do even even more 
be sure and check the owner specifications on your electronics to see if it worked for that purpose but um, it's just a thought guys that this could actually save you in many ways well beyond jumping your car Okay, to recap, this is the Ampeak Jump Start Kit. This is model JS1, and this is something which is not just a car jumper. No, no, no. It has many useful SOS device flashlight built in with SOS code, multi-function charging for USB devices, uh, built-in cigarette lighter charging. You can just plug that in and you're good to go with another device, maybe a dash cam or some other device that uses a cigarette style charger, a car vacuum perhaps. They've really thought of everything. And the fact that it comes with you know accessories like this and a car a cable, a USB-C cable for your phone, you know, that's like a $5 value. This is like a five, $6 value. It really comes with everything you need in one little package that fits beautifully in its own little case here. So really good stuff, guys. I'd highly recommend this. Click the link down below for the best price. Buy one for you, buy one for a friend. This makes a great gift, okay? All right, friends, if you have any question about the Ampeak little jump starter here, let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email, tuxtoys at gmail.com, but it's a very simple device, something everyone should really have, one of these or two of these, one per vehicle, and it makes a great gift, okay? Again, click the link down below. We'll talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye.